Hi and happy puppet month. This is going to be a great month full of puppets and fun. My name's Chris. I'm a filmmaker, a video maker uh, here in Portland. And what you're about to watch is something I made back in high school uh, with my friends Zach Herman, Colby Shikitano, and Cole Peterson. It's called Felt. It's about uh, three petty criminals who are made of felt who decide to go on one last heist together. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I already told you, Tom. I'm out. I can't go back to this kind of work. It's not me anymore. Come on, Stanley. You were the best in the business. If I'm going to be able to pull this off, I need you. Tom, I'm out. It's not going to happen. End of discussion. <sighs> All right. I didn't want to have to do it, but Stanley, you owe me a favor, and it's time to cash in. Tom, it's not gonna happen. I won't do it. So everything I did for Madison was for nothing then? She's the reason I won't do it, Tom. She needs me in her life. I can't risk going to jail after she already lost her mother. Stanley, you would have lost both of them if it wasn't for me. You aren't in harm's way. I guarantee that if this goes bust, I'll be the only one suffering from it. Fine. I need two IDs with passcode entry into the building, full disguises, and you on security cameras to watch for anything fishy. How will I find you when it's time? Go your way. It's me. I suppose you're not here just to say hello. I'm afraid not. Alright, what is it you need from me? I need an explosive charge and some extra muscle for breaching the compound. These kind of things do not come cheap, you know. I'm aware. Ha <laughs> ha! It is always a pleasure doing business with you, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's both of your disguises, earpieces, and pass cards. Remember, the password for the elevator is 28460. Got it? Perfect. And we've already got our watches synchronized, so that means we're ready to go. Nothing can possibly go wrong. And remember, if either of you cross me, I will make you regret the day your felt was trimmed. Now, any last words before we roll out? Uh, maybe French, but I do not plan on retreating. I will either go to jail a puppet or leave as a champion. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. You have the key cards, right? Holy. Crazy brother we're having. Relax, friend. You are not the one with paper skin. Ha.
Get the bomb. I'm on it. Go, 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 go. Ho. Oh. It's a dud. Stanley, I need you to hack the door. All right. According to the building plan schematics, the code is pole. Pole? Pole. <gasps> Stanley, you didn't tell me there were going to be other puppets in here. I didn't calculate for the fact that they may have a showcase today, but, but, but it's okay. If you guys turn around, there's an emergency exit only 30 feet away. We can be out of here and nobody will notice. No, I already told you. We are not backing out. Tom, we are too close. Keep your eye on the prize. Tom, you promised me I'd get to go home and see my family. You can't put me in harm's way. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Get the rope ready. Stanley, how much time do we have? According to my calculations, we have about two minutes before the lights come up. We're cutting it close. Tom, it's not too late to back out. I have a bad feeling about this. Stanley, Tom, I- Tom, see harness is ready. Better keep things moving. You have less than 20 seconds. Alright boys, the jig is up. We've got enough evidence in the folder to lock you away for a long time. Do any of you have anything to say for yourselves? Stanley, you suck. You're going to jail for snitching. I didn't snitch. It was Victor. <gasps> He's going to jail. Silence you fool. You are an imbecile. Tom is going what? to jail. I... He is the one who was in charge. I, I, I didn't snitch. I, I, I didn't even steal anything. And, 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 and Stanley hacked into the school, so, so, so he should go to jail. And, and he snitched. Stop! I didn't snitch. I don't even like tea. Why are we even stealing tea? I plead the fifth. That's oh, not fair. You can't get out of here. Stop. 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 You're all going to jail. Wait. Why? That's it. The interrogation is over. You're all gonna rot behind bars. No, 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 no,
The thing about a puppet is there's a hand connected to it. All of your shots you have to frame in some sort of way so the hand isn't in the shot. Um, either you cut it out of, at the edge of the frame or like you put an object in the way. So that was a huge hurdle and something we didn't really think a lot about. There were also scenes in the movie where like we didn't have any crew, it was just us making it. And there were some specific scenes where like we all needed to like somehow be in the shot, like doing some sort of puppet mechanism. And so we had to like let the camera roll and then go and act. I mean, like the whole thing was super fun to do. That's like, I feel like when I know that I'm making something I'm gonna be proud of is like it doesn't, like you just forget how much time you're spending on it. Like you just wanna do it. Um, we were doing, we were in high school. So like most days we, we like shot a lot of it before school. So we got up at like six and went and shot it at people's houses or whatever before school started. Um, which I thought was going to be a drag, but it was not. It was fun. I don't think I thought so much about puppet psychology at the time, but I can tell you that thinking about puppet month and like coming over here, I was I, on the drive over here. I was thinking a lot about puppets and like I was listening to uh, the song, it's called like Puppet to the Man by Kurt Vile or like Puppet of the Man or something. I think our desire to play with puppets, to watch puppets, like comes from a sort of like need to manipulate things, sort of like, uh, like being, and being John Malkovich. Like, it's an interesting way to like control the world um, and kind of like try and have a sense of like don dominance or owner ownership over things that like you can't otherwise have. Um, and then along those lines, I don't want to be a puppet. And I honestly feel like that's one of my main goals in life is like to not be a puppet. It's taken me a really long time to unlearn a lot of stuff that I thought was like something that I had to do to make something good. Like, if you have the passion, like, it's gonna be cool. Like, maybe it doesn't even look good, but it's gonna be cool and it's gonna have heart. And, like, a good movie has heart, it doesn't necessarily look really crisp or sound really good. I feel like there is so much information about making movies on the internet and stuff people are gonna tell you. And, like, you need to disregard so much of it because it's really gonna cause you a lot of hang-ups. A big thing is like stop worrying about equipment and like I, I really worried about equipment a lot more um, like previously than I do now and it, it really limited me in a lot of ways because like equipment is not going to make a good movie. You should be thinking about your story like you should be thinking about getting innovative with the technology you have because good equipment is not going to give you a good story. We were yeah. really hard on that. It was a school sponsored project, so we definitely wanted to make something a little dirtier, a little edgier uh, than we did, but we couldn't because we were making it for the Vancouver Public School District. I went to a great high school and we had a lot of equipment. You should be thinking about getting innovative with the technology you have because good equipment is not going to be a good story. Um, shout out to VPS, you're doing a good job. You're doing better than PPS. Um, and that's probably because you have better funding. Um, but you're a pretty, pretty well-functioning school district. Also, I had a really cool teacher who, like, didn't ask me questions if I, like, was not in class and I was, like, in the film studio editing. But I definitely did have to, like, skip a decent amount of class. Um, I also, I don't want to take all the credit for that because it was... I was one, one quarter of this project. If you want to check out more of my work, I have a website, ChristopherMakesMovies.com. You can also find me on Instagram, 
I'm trying to be more active on there. I'm trying. It's my New Year's resolution. Um, Chris Sesh 11. I've got a lot of projects uh, in the works. I've got some documentary work. Um, I've got a music video coming out for that House of Warmth record label that's going to be released soon. Look out for that. I hope you enjoyed this ride through the world of felt. Thank you for watching. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to puppets everywhere and filmmakers everywhere. And I hope you have a wonderful puppet month. I know I will. This is going to be truly one of the best puppet months uh, in modern history. Um, oh no, we... I just spilled my coffee. Oh no! <laughs> we gotta have some. Oh no, I got too into it. Okay.